so that way I don't forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and Happy New Year to everybody out there. Um, I'm glad the holiday's over, even though I'm a um, obsessive, compulsive Christmas fan. So, no, my decorations aren't down. That's the goal for the weekend. Uh, but tonight, I am going, there's a lot I'm going to share with y'all tonight. Anyways, um, first of all, there are a ton of new items in the shop. If you have not got the opportunity to go take a look, I advise you to go take a look. <laughs> because there are some awesome sauce goodies now available. And, uh... If a lot of you don't know, check out the Gone Artsy YouTube channel. Uh, we have a lot. All of our classes go there. Uh, we try to do it the next hour. I try to do it the next day, but you know how life can sometimes get in the way. So within the week, I try to have them over to the YouTube channel in case anyone misses the live shows. And don't forget to check out the Gone Artsy Pinterest page. Uh, where you can see a lot of the uh, designers projects using all the awesome products from Gone Artsy and uh, don't forget about our challenge page the Gone Artsy challenge group on Facebook uh, this month is being hosted by our sweet Marianne and she is doing a feather challenge so be sure to check that out because you could be the lucky winner of a $10 gift certificate to the Gone Artsy shop and with that ten dollars you can get a lot because the prices there are fabulous so anyhow uh on with tonight's class this class is inspired by my dear dt sister and friend rebecca and she had did a um let me think here a because uh, on wednesdays uh, a couple of the designers, myself being one, we do wedding pro uh, projects for those DIY brides out there. And um, anyone who knows me knows that I love working with bridal. And uh, in fact, I've got two weddings coming up this year that I'm really tickled about. So um, if you know someone who's getting married, uh, who is needing or looking for products, for their florals or you know anything uh, gone artsy is definitely the shop to go for that so um anyhow she had did a wedding wednesday project and they were these most adorable little tambourines and i thought oh my gosh how cute is that so i happened to be on pinterest just you know gazing around because you know how we all like pinterest and they had took a um, embroidery hoop and had made a tambourine and it was the um, for a boho themed wedding you know your bohemian theme and I just love that type of decor and everything I don't have anything like it uh, there's so much out there that I like but, of course, you know, I, I, I lean more towards vintage in my home. But I had just took a plain old embroidery hoop, uh, a round one. And uh, I had these on hand. have no idea where they come from. Had them forever. And you not only, of course, you know, there's like tons of things you can do with these little things. But they had took and made a little tambourine. And it was a party favor for a wedding. And I thought, well, how fun is that? So, if you, yes, very much so. Now, I'm going to share the link with you all uh, to Rebecca's uh, adorable projects that she did using actual little tambourines. That's the link to the blog post. And if you do not follow the blog, hit follow. We'd love to have you. Uh, so, what I did using this beautiful piece of lace here. Now Deb has several different wide laces in the shop and this being one of them and one of my favorites. Um, 
I took this small little embroidery hoop that I had found. Now, my goal was to put this together while I was on live with you all. Oh dear. Hold on. On. Off. Oh, okay. All right. Let me do that again in case you all didn't get that. And anyone watching the YouTube of this, I will have the link posted down in the bottom in the description. Now, I posted that. Is it working now? Okay. Awesome. We're all fixed. Okay. I think we are anyway. It says censored because we said a bad word. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So anyhow, my intentions was to put this together while you all were watching. But this little sucker, oh my goodness. We had to pound it together um, to get it to close because of all the embroidery. And this thing fits really, really snug. Um... Uh, yeah, so this is what I did using this piece here, right around in here. And then the next thing that I did was I kept this. This runs through it here at the bottom. And we'll work it in with our tambourine. So let me get this out of the way. Now, I wanted to gesso this, and I think I still will, because if I get some of the gesso on here, you know, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> oh, I can at times. <laughs> yes, Carol, it's beautiful. It's a, white, it's a brown, white, and... Um, uh, a turquoise and it's embroidered embroidered I, I may not even be saying that right and it is approximately six almost six and a half inches wide almost just shy Okay, now let me find. I got some new brushes for Christmas for my daughter. And I meant to leave them out. And I didn't. Here's one. I'll just use that. Now, these little doodads, I use a blue million of these. And I thought, there's got to be something that I can do with this stick. So, my next class, I'm going to do something with one of these sticks. So, and I just got gesso everywhere. Good Lord. Pa. Okay. Anyways, now I'm going to go on and go through here and paint this up a little bit. I'm not going to be too meticulous about it because I still want it to look rather shabby because, well, I just like that. So if you have any old embroidery hoops, this makes a cute little party favor for a wedding. You could even do these up, uh, you know, blue or pink for a baby shower. So we're just going to go around the edges. Like I said, I'm not going to be too meticulous about this.
So did everybody get what they wanted for Christmas? I had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, my daughter and my son-in-law took us to Evansville, Indiana to uh, the Tropicana, which used to be known as the Aztar. Probably one of the first gambling boats that was in, around us. And uh, those boats just really aren't my thing, but I had an absolutely wonderful time. It's small, it wasn't real big. And uh, we have one just over in New Albany from us. And I've been there, don't care for it very much. But it was a nice little evening away from home. I really enjoyed myself. And then my sons got us tickets to. Uh, it's a restaurant over here. Well, it's also in Indiana. It's just over the bridge in New Albany. Uh, it's called Derby Dinner Playhouse. Really cool place. They have plays and shows that are in, you know that are put on and performed, and uh, they serve dinner. I have an aunt that works there. And uh, they got us tickets. My first time ever, ever going. And we had a wonderful, wonderful time. So they uh, they really outdid themselves. Okay. Alrighty. I think that's pretty dry. I'm going to swipe that up later. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is now <clears throat> due to the um, it was fun um, holidays the mail had a slight delay on my uh, DT goodies so there's just a couple things I'm going to show you tonight and um, this is a new product in the store and I'm just demoing it this evening because there are a couple little pieces that I am going to use. Um, and then you can view my video tomorrow. Okay. These are called sandits. Um, they remind me of giant Q-tips. <laughs> and uh, on the ends, they have different grades. Of a sandy texture. This one is a uh, medium fine grit, and you know you can use them on projects. Uh, this one is the medium. Let me see what the other one is. The other one is a extra fine grit. So. These are also in the shop available now. Pretty cool. And how handy. And I like the fact that these are on a stick because now I don't have to go to our building and um, beg for my husband's sandpaper. So I'm going to take this and just kind of rough up the edge here. I have on acrylics and uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble working with them. I haven't had these suckers on since high school. <sighs> but 
but I just want to expose a little bit of that natural wood just around the edges. These are pretty doggone nifty. Very cool. I know y'all can't see that. But those are really neat. I like that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, and this is another new piece. Hmm, where did I lay it? Okay, it's right here. Okay, this beautiful little piece here has come off of this beautiful trim that is also available now in the shop. This is absolutely gorgeous. It makes me think of something you know, rather Greek. Oh, my jingle bells are rattling. I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. And you can cut it apart and use your sections. And again, I'll show that in my video tomorrow. So what I have done is I have cut a little piece right here. Yep. And I'm just going to trim up a few little places. Okay. Whoops. Now we're just, I'm going to adhere this. Right along in there. And I hope we make it with the glue because I made all those centerpieces for the New Year's Eve dance and I forgot I needed glue. So we're going to try and make it. We're going to see what happens anyways. I had a whole Ziploc bag full and now I have three sticks left. I had about a hundred sticks. But I made a lot of centerpieces. If anybody's friends with me on Facebook, I hope y'all got to see them because I was pretty pleased with them. And I had used Gone Artsy products on them. Thank you, Deb. Okay, and there's what we have going on so far. Now, again, I saved these out of the trim right here. And then I had saved, you know, where I had cut it out like so. And I figured that, um, you know, I could use this piece here for something or this piece here for something. So don't throw your scraps away. You can always find something to do with them. <clears throat> so 
So we're going to add this in eventually. Now this is uh, this piece here. That's just some for my stash. Uh, this piece, Deb sells in the shop. Everybody knows that this is like my favorite thing ever. And this was uh, I had worked on something that ended up not using it on. So I just kept it together and saved it and thought maybe I could use it on this little project. glue that piece right back down. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Kimberly. Bless your heart. Uh, this is just a feather from my stash. And uh, Deb will share that link with you because this I have taken, this is a trim, and I have taken and burned the, uh, the little edges of this to give it that crinkled up look. But I just love this stuff. So I thought maybe I could use it on this as well. And again, the, these little beads are just for my stash too. What I love about these embroidery hoops, uh, you can make picture frames with them. I mean, the ideas or possibilities are endless. Okay, here's what we got going so far. Cute, cute. Now, uh, these are in the shop, and Deb has also got some other new flowers. Uh, these are the, um, they're almost like the little real touch flowers, or the foam flowers. Um, they come in a white, a cream, Uh, a pink and then a dark pink almost like a hot pink and I love these little things and yes you can spray them I have done a spray on them before I did uh, some by uh, oh shoot let me think of the name of course if you have Lindy Stamp Gang I'm sure you can use on it uh, Tattered Angels I use some by Oh, what is it's Inca? Ink, oh, I can't even think of it now, y'all. Well, anyhow, I have sprayed these, and it uh, I just let them dry overnight, and they did really well. And I probably have the one that I sprayed laying here in front of me, but uh, I'm working to get everything back in order because, like I said, I was really busy with that. Uh, um, New Year's Eve. We did a masquerade ball. So I was pretty doggone busy and the house was in shambles and I was trying to keep it together and Christmas holidays and oh shoot I could go on forever with all that. But anyways so we may just use some right here or we may use a beautiful piece of bling from the shop. Oh, I think I like the bling. Yeah, I think I'll use the bling. Let's oh, because I'm going to use silver. But I will show you these while I've got them out. I have showed them before. This is some of the beautiful bling from the shop. So you can see all the pretties. They just sparkle and they're all metal and there's plenty more where these come from there <laughs> she has a awesome variety of them but I'm going to use this piece right here which happens to be one of my absolute favorites 
Uh oh. I'm a dropping stuff, y'all. I'm just going to snip that back off. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Now, <clears throat> um, for the sake of time, I'm going to use the hot glue, but you may want to use um, a better adhesive because hot glue and metal just don't work real well. But for this, we're just going to use the hot glue. Now we'll put those aside. Okay, now the um, got these after Christmas for a buck. My kids, my sons picked them up, believe it or not. Now this is what we're gonna make our jingle jangle out of for our now you can sew these on, but I'm just going to hot glue them on for now. Uh, but I will tell you the um, where I seen this fun little piece of inspiration on Pinterest. They had took and sew because, like I said, it was a bohemian themed wedding. Um, so they had stitched it on. But once I got this together because it was so snug, I, I thought I am not taking that back apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue these. Hang on just a second, you all. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. Okay, this is also a new piece that's in the shop. And I think uh, I'm in love with this. And like I said, I have some weddings coming up this summer. And... Uh, White and silver happen to be uh, their colors, so I think this will be going in their bouquets. You cannot see it very well, probably here, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm, uh, I'm in love. So pretty. So... Um, but I'm going to go around this with this. Like so. So here we go. Yeah, that's why I'm putting this trim on. I'm hoping that that will uh, also grab those jingle bells. But yeah, you'd probably want to sew them. My fingers cramping up. Just trim that off right there. measure this out here real quick. Okay. 
Alrighty. Let me just snip this off. That's pretty just like that. <laughs> And there's what we have so far. Yeah, I'm really liking that trim. Like, a lot. <laughs> yes, definitely do that. Put the um, uh, tape. Now, okay, I'm going to take and put a jingle bell right here where I have it joined. Okay. Again, you probably would want to sew this, but, uh oh, um, using this trim, I'm hoping will help adhere just a little bit better. And there's no jingle bell in that bell. I got robbed. Well, that's okay. Okay, we'll make sure there's one in that one. That one don't have one. It got missed. Now, come over here. Well, that one had one. And this one's got one. Ah, uh, are y'all back with us? I hope so. The other day, I have to tell y'all funny, my boys picked these up, I think at Walmart, I think, and they got me silver, red, and gold, and all three of them were sitting on the card table, and every time I, can you hear them? Every time I barely hit the table, they'd rattle, and I swear, it was like a bunch of rattlesnakes in the room. It was rather odd. Yeah, glad y'all made it back. 
crazy stuff, huh? And one more. Okay, that one's got a jingle jangle in it. All right, and there we go. Isn't that the cutest? Ta da! Even if we did get robbed in one of our little jingle bells, it didn't get no jingle bell in it. Okay. Let me get these out of the way because they're driving me crazy. I can't wreck it. Okay. Now then. Now I want to take this, uh, the ribbon here. And this is also in the shop. I'm going to see if this might be a little too much. This is also a favorite of mine. Pam's awful quiet. Uh oh. a little much. Let's see what I think about this. This is also sold in the shop. This fun little rosette trim. I like to take it apart and use the rosettes for other stuff. And then use the beaded trim for other things. So I think I will add some of that. I'll save my little rosettes and I'm going to add Deb Carey seam binding in the shop. Let's see if I have any white left in here. I need to get myself one of them little small irons. Oh, here we go. That'll look good. And she has a blue million colors. These are just a few. Let me just put a nice little cluster together here. And then I just sat here and lost my other, which that is nothing unusual for me to do. I'll just put that out of the way. I just sat right here and lost that, y'all. Oh, no, I didn't. I laid it up there. Duh. Now, we need a little bit of lace. Let's see here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I had a piece. That's probably too... Not enough. If I had another piece of that, I'm not sure. I like just to take all my little scraps and put them all together. Deb sells this in the shop. This is all I have left of it.
<laughs> you sound like me, Dove. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to attach all these little pieces here together. And I'll be right back with you all. We're just going to make a nice little cluster of ribbons. And beads, ouch, and lace. I'm just going to glue them all together like this. Usually I'll tie everything together or I'll, uh oh, nope, I didn't want that. Wire everything. But I'm just using scraps. So it's a nice way to use them up. right there. And then I'm going to put this nice little piece that I had left from the trim. Ouch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up under here, so I'll probably be popping that right back off, yeah. See how easy that popped off? That's why your E6000 or some type of a glue like that would work better. And I think I may even add just a little more feather. And this, I put, we put these together for a, some bouquets that I did. I just put them on wire uh, back last summer. But this is a trim, ostrich feather trim. And it comes like this. Now this one is the champagne. Uh, hi, Patricia. Welcome. This also comes in a white, which is this. Now, let me turn this wire off. Oh, gosh. And I think I'm going to just, no, I'm going to add that in like that. Let me mush that together a little bit more. Okay. Ouchies. That got me good. I 
uh, to all those that's just joining us, I wanted to remind everyone about our challenge group over on the over on Facebook, the Gone Artsy Challenge Group. Uh, this month, uh, it's being hosted by our dear sweet uh, <clears throat> Mary Ann, and she is doing a feather challenge. So, if you uh, have not joined the challenge group, come on over because we'd love to have you. And there we go. Now hang on just a second, y'all. I may add. Let me see where I laid it. I need an organizer to come in and help me. I really do. <laughs> I have a cousin, and this woman, oh my gosh, she's so organized. She's amazing with it. And I'm like, how do you do that? I have a lot of good intentions. I just, well, they just don't get done. And again, here's this uh, beautiful piece. For those that are just joining us, this one is new to the shop. Very, very new. Very, very new. Patricia, are you back from Georgia? Are you still down there? I think I have that backwards. think I like that after all. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add. Okay. Ah, still in Georgia. Now if you were making yourself one of these, you could finish the back off. Now this is just some trim from my stash. Uh, it's a, just a gathered, gathered lace. I don't know if I want to add it yet or not. I'm still undecided. That would be your preference. If you wanted to. These would make cute little wall hangings, don't you think? And then if you wanted to, you could come back in and go in between with things. Let's see what we think about that. Hmm. It's minus nine in New York. Oh Lord. Shoo wee. Nope. I think that's about all we're gonna do to this. But these make great little party favors for any kind of a party. Souvenir. Isn't that cute? 
I just think that's simply adorable. Fun, easy little project. It's 30 something here. But you could decorate them however you wanted. You could use smaller um, jingle bells. You could use bigger embroidery hoops. Nice little way to set use your um, your scraps up. Just a fun little project. And you could jingle bell, jingle bell, listen to me. You could tambourine the newly wedded couple right down the aisle. Wouldn't that be fun? Great for you know an outside wedding. Uh, a very country style wedding even very free spirited kind of thing thank you thank you very much I think it's adorable so okay there is my uh, bohemian or boho themed with a bit of vintage twist put on it, I guess you could say, using all the fabulous products from Gone Artsy. And uh, remember, if you have not checked out the store here lately, she's got tons of new product. And uh, yeah, you'll want to check those out. Let's see, what else did I want to tell you all? Um, oh, our new design team. Uh, as a lot of y'all know, uh, Marianne, myself, are uh, still with the team. But I do want to uh, welcome uh, our sweet Patty. Shabby Patty to the team. Another beautiful designer that we're very happy to have her. And our sweet Linda and Rebecca, they are on board with us again. And they will be our... Um, Oh shoot, what are they, Deb? I have to go look, you all. Let me look real quick. So I make sure I get this right. Uh, also, if you've not checked out the um, uh, our Pinterest page, check out our Pinterest page, Gone Artsy. Um, a lot of the designers' beautiful projects are um, up there. Oh, there are our associate design team members. Uh, Rebecca and Linda are, because Linda has gone on to... Uh, some really cool things over there in um, the United Kingdom. She is now a big TV star on the uh, one of the craft channels over there. So we are really, really thrilled for Linda. And again, uh, check out our YouTube channel because all of our classes go over there. A day or two later once they're here and uh, a lot of fabulous classes over there in case anyone has not seen those and last thing oh again this project was inspired by my sweet dear DT sister and good friend Rebecca uh, she had made some uh, altered some actual tambourines so I'm going to share that link again and it will also be in the description and the uh, over on the YouTube channel so if you have not checked out her precious little tambourines, do that. Now, in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you to Deb. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Happy New Year and a Happy New Year to you. And let's see. One last thing. Next class will be... DT Mary Ann next to Monday. So we hope you all can join us then again. All right. Everyone take care. Have a fabulous evening. Wonderful week. 
and um, much love and hugs to all of you. Thank you again. Take care and good night. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.